betrayal. Lord Frost stabs Boris in the back joining Tory's anti-lockdown group Revolt Past Rules. Lord Frost has joined an influential group of Tory MPs whose anti-lockdown demands have hamstrung Boris Johnson in recent weeks. The former Brexit minister joined the Covid Recovery Group, CRG, and said he was looking forward to helping the backbenchers in their bid to remove all pandemic restrictions as quickly as possible. Dozens of Conservative MPs are a part of the group and its highly organised setup has led to humiliating Tory revolts in the Commons on coronavirus restrictions in the past. Just before Christmas the Saji is responsible for the coordinated revolt over the introduction of vaccine passports, with more than 100 Conservative backbenchers refusing to back Mr Johnson's plan to beat the Omicron variant. His biggest rebellion to date, the size of the rebellion was far bigger than the government had been anticipating and sent shockwaves through number 10 after the Prime Minister was forced to rely on the Labour Party to ensure the policy passed through the Commons. Lord Frost sensationally quit the Cabinet last month as he criticised the Prime Minister for being too heavy-handed with Covid restrictions. In his resignation letter he cited concerns about the current direction of travel of government policy. He said the UK needed to learn to live with Covid and must not be tempted by the kind of coercive measures we have seen elsewhere. Lord Frost promised to continue supporting the Prime Minister even though he had left government. Together we have put this country onto a new path. I am confident that under your leadership this newly free Britain can succeed and prosper hugely, he said. Support for the Saji from a political heavyweight such as Lord Frost will only heap further pressure on Mr Johnson, who is already wrangling with how to best tackle the threat of the Omicron Covid variant while keeping his party on side. Opposition politicians have accused the Prime Minister of failing to introduce further restrictions to fight the highly transmissible strain because he is worried about backlash from his party. Sir Keir Starmer has claimed Mr Johnson is too weak to lead the country through the pandemic. The Prime Minister says he has rejected calls for further Covid restrictions as the data currently does not support further intervention. I think the way forward for the country as a whole is to continue with the path that we're on, he said yesterday. However, vowing not to hesitate to act if necessary, he added, we'll keep everything under review. His official spokesman went further today, saying, at the moment we don't see any data to suggest that further restrictions would be the right approach given we know it is important to strike the right balance between protecting lives and livelihoods. There are significant mitigations in place for our NHS to help them in what's going to be a very challenging winter. Ministers have taken confidence from the fact that hospital admissions already appear to be falling in Omicron hotspot London, which is two weeks ahead of the rest of the country in its outbreak. There were 347 admissions in the capital on New Year's Day down 7%. There is growing anger among conservative backbenchers and business leaders that the nation is being ground to a halt by a variant that causes little or no symptoms for the overwhelming majority. Tory MP Craig McKinley said that the country was in the midst of a semi-lockdown with one million Britons currently isolating after catching Covid as he called for the PM to slash the quarantine period to five days like the US and France. He said it could be the answer to England's self-isolation misery. We are almost facing a semi-lockdown because of people being off work who are perfectly well. You couldn't make that up, he said. The US must have done a lot of work on it. And they have come up with five days as the answer. Perhaps it is. Mr Johnson is set to hold a televised coronavirus briefing from Downing Street at 5pm tonight. The press conference comes after he held a meeting with senior ministers to pore over the latest Omicron day to earlier today. It will be the first time he has directly addressed the nation on the pandemic on TV since before Christmas.